What's going on my friends? DJ Lowstacks here. Welcome back or to the channel and welcome to a vlog. Not a gig log today. Today is a vlog. Uh, we actually should be in Atlantic City right now, but we are not. We're driving. Reason for that, my flight was canceled. So sat in an airport yesterday for about four hours waiting for my flight. Flight didn't happen. They ended up canceling it. So I jumped in the car, took off driving. It's about a 12 hour drive from uh, where I was at, which is actually an hour farther north than Kalamazoo. So I was in Grand Rapids uh, at the airport. Left there, drove home real quick, dropped off the fiance because she came and picked me up and made the executive decision that I didn't want to miss DJ Expo. So I jumped in the car and started headed to Atlantic City. So we are about two hours away right now, 150 miles-ish from Atlantic City. Just stopped at a rest area, probably the last pit stop before we arrive. Um, wasted a night in the hotel. Was supposed to uh, bunk up with Eric Massengale last night and that didn't happen. So he's probably happy about that. Had the room to himself. Uh, but tonight, staying at the Hard Rock, Atlantic City. I'm gonna be there at noon today. It's my first time going to Expo. I've never been to DJ Expo. I've been to The Collective, been to Midwest DJs, never been to DJ Expo, so I'm pretty excited about it. But, all right guys, I'll keep you posted on the trip. Took a, took a nap for a couple hours at a rest area. Pretty much drove all the way through. I left Kalamazoo at 9 p.m. last night, and it's now 9.30 a.m., so uh, just over 12 hours right now on the road. Uh, that's with a two hour nap, but all right, let's do it. Less than a hundred miles away.
you guys think? So this was my first DJ Expo. I'm posting this video, editing this video about a month after the Expo was over. Uh, I know, I suck. Lots. Of, I've got so much footage to edit, but that's besides the point. Uh, this was my first Expo. I had a ton of fun. As you guys saw from that intro clip, uh, my flight got canceled, but I wasn't gonna let that stop me. I ended up driving anyway. Drove through the night. That was a little rough. I left the house at like 9.30 p.m. Um, took a couple pit stops for a few short naps, and I ended up making it to Atlantic City right around noon. So quite a lot of uh, time behind the steering wheel, let me tell you. But it was worth it. I had a great time. Uh, the trade show floor was awesome. I've never been to a show with a floor that big, so I've only ever been to Midwest DJs Live, now the DJ Expo, and the DJ Collective. And Collective and uh, Midwest, you know, Midwest does have a trade show floor, but it's nothing to the caliber of Expo. So that was super cool to see. Lots of cool DJs doing lots of cool stuff. You saw a lot of those clips. Hope you guys enjoyed that little montage. Uh, as far as the content goes, to be honest with you, I didn't attend to any of it. I did uh, I did walk by a few of the, the rooms and kind of listen in, but I didn't like full on attend to any of it. I do think a lot of it, um, there's definitely some higher level stuff, but a lot of it is more entry level uh, content. Um, not that that means I shouldn't have sat in on it because I probably should have, but uh, I had other stuff I was doing, like lunch at Landshark. Speaking of Landshark, the, the people, man, holy cow. So, you know, all the homies are there. It's a great time. You get to see all those familiar faces. It's it's really just a big camaraderie thing. You know, if you want to meet some of us DJ YouTubers or, you know, anybody that's anybody in the industry, pretty much is at Expo. So really good time as far as that goes. Huge networking opportunities for everybody. Um, speaking of networking, so actually, Michael from Vibo, if you're not using Vibo, make sure you check it out. Michael from Vibo took a lot of us Vibo users that were there out to uh, dinner. So you, this, you know, it was me, Rick Webb, uh, Rachel, Marcellus, Aaron Strawn, uh, Nick Hahn was there, I got to meet Nick. Nick introduced me to Jay from Ultimate Ears, so sneak peek or little uh, hint here, I will have a video coming with a collab with Ultimate Ears. But that was a good time. Uh, Landshark, so you saw those clips, freaking Nate Nelson chugged my beer, and I don't know, that was probably the funnest lunch I've ever had in my life. And I think all of those guys would agree. That was just, you know, such a, such a great time. But to recap, you know, the casino took all my money, uh, the drive sucked, but I'm pretty certain I will be back next year because it was a blast. If you guys have any questions or anything like that about, you know, specifics on, on it, uh, let me know. But yeah, I would definitely highly recommend Expo. The nightlife stuff was pretty fun. Um, they had some, the first night, I don't know about that. That was like some trance DJs at HQ nightclub. I don't think that was really, I don't know. It was all right, but not exactly my my uh, ideal <laughs> performer for the first night. Hey guys, I don't want to ramble on too much. Um, what I would say is, do I recommend DJ Expo? Yes. All right guys, as always, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing, click that like button, and click that notification bell so you can get notifications of my upcoming videos. Peace.